Alright guys, so we're back. Um, now as you can see, I've uh, gone ahead and uh, finished out the hand railing for this little walkway because, you know, I don't trust myself not to walk off a single uh, a single width bridge. Um, and I've gone ahead and marked out my drop zone. Now the reason I... <laughs> The reason I put the uh, the green clay here in the middle is, uh, you know, what I was uh, sort of alluding to before, where I, I tend to have a problem uh, I, on a previous skyblock that I think I was just doing for my own enjoyment. I built a platform similar to this and had a, a nice uh, axe that unfortunately was a little too fast for me, and when I sort of nerd pulled up to do the... Uh, the the mob spawner and decided to come back down I lost track of where I was and literally just broke the uh, the wood out from under me and fell into the void the, one of the most uh, annoying deaths I've had so far just because it's like completely avoidable um, alright so I'm gonna put the 4x4 four four there and I'm gonna go ahead and this is only going to go up a little ways. It's not going to be one of the ones where they drop a, a great distance to their, you know, to to damage. Just because there's no need to do that. One of these days, I will harvest cloud. If just to be, <laughs> to say that I've harvested cloud, so I'm going to leave an open block here, uh, and then the floor of the spawner is going to be here. So if I've calculated that correctly, let's see. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we need to have a 4x4 four four hole. And the reason I'm making it 4x4 four four is so that spiders can can come down too. Because the biggest problem with a 1x1 one one is that the spiders still spawn and they just end up clogging the whole thing up. Um, let's see. And then when they're, you know, when the when the spiders are in the way, then none of the other mobs can fall, and that's just annoying. All right. All right. So that's the that's the center hole right there. So since that's the center hole. We have to go eight out from that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one more for the backdrop. No, not there. Stupid. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. Come back here. There we go. And I am going to need some more torches. So I'm going to put this one down for now. And I'm going to run back and get some more real quick. This is actually a cool design. That means this. No, it's not a cool design. <laughs> Got to get rid of this one. And see, now that that green stained clay there is, uh, is there, I know that uh, I'm safe. Let's grab some more torches. Should not be running, but oh well. Um, okay, that should be enough for now. Don't want to overmake. And back up. Um, I'm going to put one torch right here. That should protect the center from any spawnage issues. This popcorn is really good. I'm glad I discovered it. Okay, one, two. Let's do it this way. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, 
and H and the backdrop. Ooh. Went a little sideways there. There we go. As you probably remember, when you put down a block uh, or a source block of water, it'll flow exactly eight um, eight spaces and then stop. So, you know, this is a basic design where you put the water at the end of there and it flows to here, pushing any mobs that spawn in here to that center hole. So let's see, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight, and the backdrop. Put down a torch. All right, so let me go ahead and finish putting together the rest of this. And we'll be right back, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, I've got the basic structure finished, and this is a bit of a, a bit of an ordeal because, um, unfortunately, this is a lot of material. As you can see, I decided to go ahead and build the outer wall with cobblestone, just because it took forever to get enough trees to grow just to build this base structure. Um, but basically, uh, if you've never seen one of these before, here's how this works. Now you put down water in these channels, uh, just one source block at, the, at each one, and as you can see, it comes right to the edge and stops. So it doesn't pour down the hole, it just goes directly to the, uh, the edge. And so any mob that falls down into this water will be pushed directly to the edge and pushed off. They, they won't be able to keep from coming down the hole just because mobs don't have the ability to uh, to resist uh, water flow. And I'm also, as you can see, I'm putting source blocks in these corners to increase the uh, increase the the surface area or the uh, the available area for the water to flow when I get done then all of the basically all of the lower area will be nothing but water flowing directly to the hole did I just put that in the same spot I did dang it all right all right all right all right there we go that one and we'll put one here and finally put one here and let me go ahead and put wood down there and break those Oh, my hatchet leveled up again. Fixing up repair wear and tear will make it last a little bit longer. So it's got reinforced on it, I believe. Yep, reinforced one. Sweet. As you can see, I've got a few mob drops. The This thing actually started working quicker than I thought it would. Um, <laughs> came over to finish it up and uh, was greeted by... A fairly long string of zombies and a few uh, skeletons, too. So, let's go and get rid of the candles. Now, eventually, I'll put a lid on this so that it works day and night, but I just I don't have the materials for it yet. Alright, all candles gone. So, uh, let's go down the hole here. Now, what I'm going to do because the only thing I really have to worry about here is uh, spiders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, let's see, block there, block there, there, 
and there. So that way, oh, no, not there. <laughs> Wrong spot. There. So that way, even when the spiders drop down into this hole, they won't be able to get out of there because they can't pass through a one-by-one -one hole. So I'll still be able to step in and kill them and get their stuff. Yay! I need a sound muffler for that. <laughs> That's going to get annoying. Oh, well. All right, so now all we have to do is wait for night time. Um... Let's see, where is the sun at? About halfway up. So, let's take a look at the quest book real quick. I can actually turn a few things in. I, I, okay, I put the quest book away. Um, and... Put that wood and the cobblestone away. Put those away. Quest book. Okay. So this is, the whole point of this is so that we can get rotten flesh and bones, but of course we got some already, so I've got 40% and 60%, so I need six more pieces of rotten flesh, four more bones, and we're good to go. And hopefully this will provide us with enough, at the very least, enough bone meal to where I won't have to worry about being as low as I am because quite frankly I am quite low on bone meal. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is spiders coming up over the side there but I think as long as I don't linger right here <laughs> then they won't really be motivated to climb the wall they'll be more motivated to come to the center hole here where I can kill them anyways. Um, so while we're waiting for evening time, let me come over here and repair my tools. Um, which is a, one of the really cool things about uh, Tinker's Construct, is the ability to repair your tools instead of just having to make new ones. Um, let's see, so X is flint. I had to upgrade that at some point. Uh, hatchet. Flint, there we go. And the pickaxe, which actually also uh, up, um, oop, wrong way. I also um, leveled up my pickaxe, uh, so now it has uh, haste, which means it breaks through those blocks a little bit quicker, which is cool. And I am getting hungry again. I've got some corn on me, or er, corn. I've got some carrots on me. I'll go ahead and eat that. There we go. Zoom my uh, mini map so that I can see those uh, platforms as well. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the problem with wearing these skulls is my t the my skin, I guess, is a little thicker than it's supposed to be. <laughs> So you can't really see the uh, the skull through the texture of the skin. Um, I'm gonna grab that too. Come on, son, go down. Go down. Go ahead and har harvest some of this corn while I am waiting. Yummy, yummy popcorn. There we go. Go ahead and stick this in the oven. Get me some popcorn. Alright, so the sun is setting. Still no cows over here, unfortunately. Just pigs and chickens. Have any eggs in here? I guess they must have, uh, they must have despawned. Ah, 
All right, so the sun is setting. So we don't want to get too close, because if we're too close, then it'll keep the mobs from spawning. So we're going to hang out here for a sec. Watch the beautiful sunset. Isn't it lovely? And we should start seeing mob faces pop up on the mini-map. Any moment. Any moment. <laughs> oh! That's right. I forgot one key element to that design, which is I need to put half slabs on top of that. Okay, he fell down inside. Why am I not seeing the, mo the mob faces? Okay. Yeah, now hopefully, uh, if, if this works the way it's worked before, even the... Oh. Come on, let let that Enderman die and give me a uh, Ender Pearl. That would be awesome. Hopefully, anything that actually dies up there will their their drops will come down too. Come here. Yeah, jerk. All right. Die. Oh, hey, Andy. He's over there. Let's see if I can kill him. Wonder how low on health he is. Yay, Ender Pearl! That is going to be super valuable. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome to the party. Make sure I don't get snuck up on from behind. <laughs> Alright, so I've got enough rotten flesh. Uh, did that... Sp okay, that skeleton dropped a bone. So give me some bones now. Alright, so I have to move away from it in order for more, more mobs to spawn. I see you up there. Peeking over the top. How are you peeking over the top? Did I leave a block up there that I shouldn't have? I'll have to check that in the morning. I see we have a skelly! Oh, two skellies. Alright, yeah, so since the since the creeper doesn't see me, it's impossible for the creeper to blow up and kill me, which is awesome. Alright, does it so is that enough? Yes it well, let's see. No, nope, we need one more piece of rotten flesh. So we'll come back over here. Hey, spider. I don't have any food on me, do I? I'm okay for now. Any zombies? Yeah, I hear them. Ouch! Who are you? Come here. Give me your rotten flesh. Alright, so that's good. Go ahead and finish killing off these customers. And on the plus side, I'm getting good experience, too. Both for myself and my hatchet. I may actually build a sword at some point, I'm not sure. Although, this hatchet's doing, <laughs> doing pretty good work, so... All right, so let's turn this quest in, and random potion flask, let's go with that one. All right, good deal. And let's see what we got for the uh, reward bag real quick. Nice reward. Oh, wow, I got 16 pneumatic servos. That's awesome, because that's actually... I wonder if the quest book is still going to make me craft one. <laughs> one of the one of the quest books or one of the quests that that is pending right now is to craft a pneumatic servo. <laughs> yeah, it's still going to make me craft one. 
Oh well. And at least I have to make one, and then I got a whole bunch more in spare. Alright, so guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Uh, let me go ahead and put the rest of this stuff away. Oh, I got... Ooh, Flask of Invisibility. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... If you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I certainly hope that you have, uh, please be sure to leave a like, uh, comment, or su uh, suggest anything you'd like to see me do. And make sure you subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.